I bet you think I forgot about your surprise. I didn't. In fact, we're headed to your surprise right now. After all these years, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. Initiating surprise in three, two, one. I made it all up. Surprise. Oh, come on. If it makes you feel any better, they abandoned you at birth. So I very seriously doubt they'd even want to see you. I feel awful about that surprise. Tell you what, let's give your parents a call right now. The birth parents you are trying to reach do not love you. Please hang up. Oh, that's sad. But impressive. Maybe they weren't at the phone company. Hey, how's it going? I talked my way onto the old nanobot work crew rebuilding this shaft. They are really small. So, oh. I know, Jerry. No, I'm on a break, mate. I'm on a break. Ah! Just hang in there for five more. What, Jerry? You can't fire me for that. Yes, Jerry. Or maybe your prejudiced work site should have accommodated a nanobot of my size. Thanks for the hate crime, Jer. See you in court, mate. Anyway, look, just hang in there for, for five more chambers. Well, you know the old formula. Comedy equals tragedy plus time. And you have been asleep for a while, so I guess it's actually pretty funny when you do the math.
I thought about our dilemma, and I came up with a solution that I honestly think works out best for one of both of us. Federal regulations require me to warn you that this next test chamber is looking pretty good. That's right, the facility is completely operational again. I think these test chambers look even better than they did before. It was easy, really. You just have to look at things objectively, see what you don't need anymore, and trim out the fat. I've got a surprise for you after this next test. Not a fake, tragic surprise like last time. A real surprise with tragic consequences. And real confetti this time. The good stuff. Our last bag. Part of me is going to miss it. But at the end of the day, it was just taking up space. What's going on? Who turned off the lights? Hey, buddy! I'm speaking in an accent that is beyond her range of hearing. I know I'm early, but we have to go right now. Walk casually toward my position, and we'll go shut her down. Look, Metal Ball, I can hear you. Run! I don't need to do the voice. Run! Run!
Brilliant! You made it through. Well done. Okay, follow me. We've still got work to do. What's happening? Um, hmm. Okay. Okay, d uh, don't move. Okay, alright, so, I've got an idea, but it is bloody dangerous. Here we go. Ah! Oh, for God's sake, they told me that if I ever turned this flashlight on, I would die. They told me that about everything. I mean, I don't even know why they bothered giving me this stuff if they didn't want me to use it. It's pointless. Mad. Ooh. It's dark down here, isn't it? They say that the old caretaker of this place went absolutely crazy. Chopped up his entire staff of robots. All of them robots. They say at night you can still hear the screams of their replicas. All of them functionally indistinguishable from the originals. No memory of the incident. Nobody knows what they're screaming about. Absolutely terrifying. Though obviously not paranormal in any meaningful way. Wait, careful. Let me light this jump for you. Okay, this looks dangerous. I'll hold the light steady. Oh, nicely done. Quick, this way. Here's an interesting story, you might like this. I almost got a job down here in manufacturing. But uh, guess who the foreman went with? Only an exact duplicate of himself, nepotism, ended up giving me the worst possible job, tending to all the smelly humans. The, the, um, sorry, that's, uh, no, I wouldn't say like smelly. Just, just tending to the humans. Sorry about that, that just, that just slipped out. You're being sensitive. Uh, the smelly humans. Okay, we have to split up here for a moment, portal up to that passage, and I'll see you on the other side. that room. Can you reach that wall back there? Okay, there's another wall over here. Oh, I'll tell you. Humans? Oh, love them. Just the way they look is great. And their folklore. Wonderful. They're very colourful. Turret redemption lines are not rise. Please exit the turret redemption line. Turret redemption lines active. Please do not engage with turrets heading towards redemption. Turret redemption lines are not rise. Please exit the turret redemption line. Her name is Carolyn. A 
Turret control center. Template. Thank you very well. Response. See that scanner out there, right? It's deciding which turrets to keep and which to toss, Response. and it's using that Response. master turret there as a template. Now, if, if we pull out the template turret, Template. it'll shut down the whole production line. Response. Right, um, hmm. I'm gonna have to hack the door Template. so that we can get at it. Response. Technical, um, you'll need to turn around while I do this. Done! Response. Okay, go on, just pull that turret out. Well, that should do it. Template, Template missing. Continuing, Continuing from memory. Oh, that hasn't done it. What, what, what do you have there? Template. Yeah, let's get it. What, what are you? Oh, brilliant. It's, that's brilliant. New template accepted. If we're lucky, she won't find out all her turrets are counting until it's too late. <laughs> Classic. Okay, keep your eye on the turret line. I'm going to go and hack the door open. Template. Yes. Response. Okay, I'm about to start hacking. It's a little bit more complicated than it looks from your side. It should take about 10 minutes. Keep one eye on the door. This door's actually pretty complicated. Oh, how long's the door been open? I mean, was there any sort of announcement before it opened? Like a, like a buzzer or an alarm of some kind? Or like a hacker alert? I mean, you know, fair enough, the important thing is it's open. But it's, in, it's just mentioned in the future. Cough or something. All right, now, she can't use her turrets, so let's go and take care of that neurotoxin generator as well. Bring your daughter to work day. That did not end well. And 40 potato batteries. Embarrassing. I mean, I realize they're children, but still, you know, low-hanging fruit and all that. Barely science, really, is it? Look at that, it's growing right up into the ceiling. The whole place is probably overrun with potatoes at this point, isn't it? At least you won't starve, though. I'm pretty sure we're going the right way, just to reassure you. Don't worry, I'm absolutely guaranteeing you 100% that it's this way. No, it's not this way. Okay, let's try this way. <laughs> 